Okay, let's put a roll bar in this thing. So this tubing bender that Trish picked up is called a, an affordable bender. It came off of eBay. It's not a terrible bender, but it had some problems. As you see, we're having a heck of a time trying to get the pipe loaded. It just doesn't, the, the tolerances were kind of bad. Eventually we learned that we needed to put a, a clamp on it also so the die doesn't move around. So here I'm struggling with it. All right, so here's the first bend. This is going to be the door post that's going to be behind Trish. Kind of banging on it there, trying to get it in a in a plane, so it's so it's straight when it's bent. So this bend that uh, Trish is petering out on there, that is the the top. We're going to cross the top of the roll bar using some levels to make sure that the the tubing's 90 degrees. There you go, I'm struggling with the tubing bender again. We tried oil, we tried everything. There we go, we finally figured out using a clamp works. They should have put a pin in it. Alright, so this is... Oh, oh yeah, I'm getting so ticked off I'm getting a drill. <laughs> and uh, re-drilling things out. <laughs> I re-drilled out the aluminum die. Finally, there. I think it's it's good now. Fight, fight, fight. So we're going to do a slight offset. So instead of going to the perimeter of the, the chassis, we're going to just go straight down to the subframe connector. It's going to save a little bit of right side weight. We could have done an extreme offset and added a third bin, but it's not really... In a car that has to weigh 3,500 pounds, it's not really a big deal. Right, trim it down to size. Make it the right height. There it is. That's a good view showing the offset. Did I just run into the camera? Here we go. There's the subframe connectors and the support piece that I put um, on there before. Now I'm angling the bottom of these tubes. So the, the seat that Trish got is an aluminum uh, seat with about, I think it's probably about 10 degrees tip back. So we're going to angle the roll bar back. more or less to match the the angle of the window posts anyway in the car. Here I had to get the giant crescent wrench out to try to tweak this into place. I didn't quite get it right. There's going to be more bars in here bracing this. I have to stitch that into where the leaf springs connect and get some of that rust off of there rained a bunch since the last time we worked on it. Now it started raining again. So this is going to be a brace out to the front of the, the subframe. It's going to be like about a 45 degree bend and then um, tie into the, the roll bar in the back. I cut through the the firewall there. So I'm concerned about putting this one in right away so that roll bar doesn't move back and forth as we start building other parts of the car. Back to fighting with the tubing bender. I think she only paid $300, $400 for this thing. Really a good value, honestly. I'm using a piece of wire to to estimate the bend. I I don't think you saw it before, but I, when I had the tube through there, I bent the piece of welding rod, the wire, to uh, the contour I wanted. And just fish mouse it here and and cut a, a an angle across the bottom so it'll tie into the the subframe. So fish mouse the back and then 
pepper crunch. Unfortunately, my tubing notcher broke, so I don't have a tubing notcher. I have to do everything manually. And it got dark, and we kind of had to stop. Thanks for watching.